Just hours ago, California Forever released new details on their ballot initiative today. ABC 10's Devin Truby was there. She joins us now live in the studio. And Devin, not everyone is happy. Well, that's right, Chris. Journalists and supporters gathered at the Veterans Hall today in Rio Vista for the announcement. Inside, we learned of the plans for the proposed city. Outside, people who lived in the community were upset that they weren't invited or let in. Today is, the day that... Today is the day that founder and CEO Jan Schrammick reveals California forever to the world. Described as a mixed-use walkable city, 18,000 acres between Travis Air Force Base and Rio Vista. If it's Schrammick's dream city, planner Gabriel Metcalf will be the one to root it in reality. It is a fascinating um, gig for a city planner. Metcalf envisions a variety of housing from apartments, rentals, townhouses and homes with a starting price of 450000 and with the ability to walk from one end of the neighborhood to the other, each with grocery stores, restaurants, parks and schools. The yellow on this map, the land outside of Travis, will become a solar field generating enough power for 1.5 million homes. They say only 30 percent of the 60,000 acres they used will actually be for residential. Outside of the urban footprint, we will continue to have an agriculture business and an energy generation business. California Forever will start with a 10,000 person community to test the idea, which Shromick says will cost $2 billion to build. Then they'll move to 50,000. The major initial phase is 50,000, but if it gets momentum, it has the potential to be as much as 400,000 people. But California Forever can't move past 50,000 people without winning their promised guarantees. Anya Spivey previously worked on the housing next to Jack London Square in Oakland. He's now the director of development planning and is making sure California Forever keeps its promises, including 15,000 jobs for people guaranteed to make 77,000 a year. Firefighters, police officers, nurses, etc., back into the communities in which they reside so that they're not having to commute an hour. The group is also promising $200 million to other Solano County towns and $70 million in scholarships. $400 million in housing funds available for the first $50,000. you will see an additional $400 million available if we're able to grow beyond $50,000. They say they won't be taking tax revenue from the county. It'll be funded by California Forever and its residents. We asked how much in taxes California residents would have to pay to sustain the city. They said they don't know yet. The impact is on the eastern part of the county, us, okay? So the western part, those are the ones that are going to decide whether this project is going to get approved or not. Mayor Ron Cott says once a park is created to separate Rio Vista and California Forever, and there's a guarantee the new city won't use any of the county's water, he'll be on board, but residents still need some convincing. I think it was very bad to exclude the community. Uh, to have do this on very short notice. So far, they have not proved to, to be necessarily good neighbors. California Forever is feeling confident. Uh, we're pretty sure we're going to win. And Devin, to say this has been controversial would be an understatement, <laughs> yes, right? You've been following this from the very beginning. Tell us what happens next. I know they have, what, more town hall meetings planned? They do. So for everyone that wasn't able to attend today, you could go to an upcoming town hall. You can also go on our website, ABC 10, see all those lovely images. And remember, they have an office now in each city for people to go in and give input in person, too. Our Devin Truby, she's been following. I know mm -hmm. you'll keep us posted as you learn more. Devin, thank you.